Hello YouTube. As you may know, it's winter break for me, and by special request, it's time for another pencil case roundup for winter 2014-2015. As you can see, it's the same pencil case that I had before, so let's go through the pens and pencils that I brought home with me from school, and so they are quite literally the best of the pencil case. All right. As you can see, this pencil case holds quite a few pencils and pens and assorted writing implements. So, without further delay, let's get started. All right. So, I have a couple of Papermate Murado Black Warriors, which I like to use when my hands get tired because they are lightweight, being that they are wooden pencils. And it does not want to focus. All right. And in a similar vein, I have some Papermate Murado Classics, also of a recent vintage. And so, there we have it. General Cedar Point. I like these pencils a lot because of their unfinished wood. It's sanded, but it's unfinished, which means that it's quite comfortable to hold, and if your hands are sweaty, it doesn't just slip all over the place. Another wood case pencil I really, really like is the Tombow 2558HB. I got this one on Jet Pens uh, a while ago. It was $1. But as you can see, even though it looks like a standard yellow pencil, it's so much more. Look at the sheen on that uh, lacquer. It's just got a layer of lacquer right over, and it looks beautiful. Also feels very premium. And the lead is perfectly centered. And as when I rotate that, I guess it's not perfect, but it's quite good. And the ferrule is securely attached, although that there's a little bit of space there. For general writing, since 1913, the Tombow 2558HB. Pencil that I don't like so much is the General Semi-Hex. I have a review of this one on my website, scribomechanica.weebly.com, but uh, I'll have a link to it um, down below. This pencil is not very good in my opinion. It's scratchy, it smears, and the point retention is terrible. Oh, but probably the best wooden pencil in my collection. Not my favorite to use necessarily because it's so dark and it smears kind of a bit. Is the Uni Penmanship 4B. Made in Japan, this one is the most premium pencil out of all the ones I have. Wood case at least. And look at that core. It is huge compared to a Ticonderoga. Yeah, there is no comparison. It's crazy. And it is so smooth to write with. It feels like you're writing on with butter on a hot pan. Pressure proof high density lead. The point retention is actually quite good for what it is. It's a 4B pencil, so of course it's not going to be good as your standard HB. However, this pencil is awesome. Also available on jet pens, by the way. I have this cheapo Papermate Inkjoy 100 um, plastic, you know, stick pen. It works fine. I use it to lend to other people. Um, oh yes, I almost forgot. The Mitsubishi 9800 in B and 2B. 2B is 2B or B? That is the question. Um, yes. As you can see, I've used this one quite a lot, the 2B one, because it's so smooth and the point retention is good for a 2B. Writing notes in class, it's effortless and I, I really, really like it, even though there's no eraser. I just use my standard pencil high polymer eraser. I got a 12 pack of these a while ago, Paper, uh, Ticonderoga Beginners in 2HB, I sharpen it with a knife. Normally I use this one my Swiss Army Hunter, I think Huntsman 2. Uh, I got it on Amazon for a good price. Use this blade. It's quite good. As you can see there's a little bit of uh, residue there from opening packages with sticky tape. This is a giant version of the regular Tekken Roga. Here's a size comparison. I like writing with it. 
uh, just to scribble like quickly or if I'm working out a math problem and I have a ton of blank paper like scratch paper what I do is I go to the library computer labs and typically there's a stack of like ruined printouts but the backside is almost always blank so I just grab all that paper and I use it as scratch paper so as not to waste my notebooks precious paper which I reserved for class notes in working out some you know con unit conversion or something I like using this pencil for that oh I also have the Mitsubishi 9800 in HB so here's a family photo I guess and you can see the relative importance of each one in my pencil case let's move on to some mechanicals shall we here's an old standby the Unicura Toga Point 5 got a review of this one on my channel uh, you can see the gradual wear and tear on this pencil printing's worn out there's a lot of scratches on the body yeah but the mechanism still works as you can see that orange thing just keeps on rotating so yeah a great buy for four dollars honestly one of the most durable pencils I have in this price range next up the Pentel Twist Erase in .7 and .9. I have a .5 one as well, but that one's at school still. Um, I actually found both of these pencils on the sidewalk. I found, uh, yeah, I found this one on the bike path and this one on the sidewalk proper. And, you know, what can I say? They're great pencils. They work well. And, of course, it's got this twisty eraser, its namesake. So I don't have to worry about running out like I do on pretty much all my other pencils because most of them, most of my favorite pencils come with a crappy eraser like this, which is great for math notes if I'm doing like, you know, want to change a plus sign to a minus sign or something. But it's not going to do anything if I'm writing an essay and I need to erase an entire sentence. I'll burn through the entire eraser. Where here, I don't have to worry about that at all. I love the pencil twist erases. They work well and they last forever. So as long as you don't lose them, as these poor owners did. Another pencil I found, uh, this time on the street itself, the Pentel Side FX PD255 Japan. Uh, of course, all the Pentel pencils I have in this picture are made in Japan, in this video, but it's got this twisty eraser as well. Uh, the mechanism is a little bit stiff. And it's got this really angular sort of shape, and yeah, that extends to the grip. It's got like a hexagonal grip section, which is kind of cool. The mechanism might have a little dirt stuck in it, but it works quite well. Similar to the Pentel Quicker Clicker or the Pentel Technoclick 1 and 2, or T2 now. Clip is fine. The whole body comes off, which is kind of interesting. It's like I just ripped the pencil in half. Yeah, quite a good pencil. And looks kind of oddly futuristic but in a gray sort of way uh, maybe it's like 90s futuristic yeah I'll settle with that and of course I got a big pencil here I use this also for lending to other people I found this one as well I think out of my collection probably I have at least 30 bics I probably bought about half of them and the rest of them I just find uh, I like this little orange and black thing I think I found it near Halloween too so that was kind of neat it has a pretty much full eraser I used a little bit of it, but when I found it, it was brand new, and it had quite a bit of lead in there still. So I'm pretty sure somebody just bought it, used it once, and then like lost it because it was in a classroom. Maybe they were using it as a backup to a test. Yeah, multiple choice test, and then they dropped it on the floor. Big pen for the same reason. Although I do appreciate these lowly big crystal pens because they're the ultimate expression of democracy in a way. They're 10 cents. Anybody can buy them. Anybody can afford them. And they last for about two miles. So, you know, it was the first ballpoint pen that was commercially successful. And to this day, it is still successful. So I gotta, you know, respect that. That doesn't mean that I don't permit, that I don't, you know, prefer using my fountain pens, but that's a completely different issue. Some more mechanical pencils. Of course, I got the Rotring 600, standard, the standard drafting pencil. No metal grip. This thing wears down over time. Actually, there's a bit of a nick in the paint there. Some 
wearing off the paint here you can see the brass uh, of the you know point section near the knurling so I was kind of disappointed with the fact that that wore out but the mechanism is still solid as when it was new I got the Stadler 9252505 you've also seen this one before standard no metal grip this one the paint has not worn off which I'm quite happy about and yeah, I got the Pentel Graph Gear 500 and the Graph Gear 1000. Both of them work quite well. Uh, this this one is probably the oldest pencil out of all the ones I have here. I've had this one since the summer of 2010, and it still works like it did brand new. I remember I dropped this once on its tip and it bent out of shape like that, but I just bent it back and it was fine. So, cheers to Pentel for making a durable tip section. And in my main compartment, as I, as you can see, I just emptied my main compartment here. I keep all my pencils pointing this way, so this one's covered with graphite, and this one's clean. I only keep one fountain pen in there, and that is this Pilot Varsity. Now this is a surprisingly smooth pen for what it is. As you can see, it just looks like a sheet metal sort of nib, but really, it's a nice nib. It may not look like much but it writes quite smoothly and I do appreciate it a lot. As far as I know, I think they also use this nib on the Pilot Petite 1, if I'm not mistaken. This just snaps on the back there. Well, it doesn't snap, it just slides on. And the clip is quite flimsy. I would probably be afraid of breaking it. And it sits nice and snugly there. Now this is a quote-unquote disposable fountain pen, but it can actually rip out the nib and feed with a pair of pliers pour some ink in there with an eyedropper or a syringe and then just shove that nib section back on nib and feed section this part rotates a little bit this is actually an updated uh, sort of design the older design I thought looked a lot lamer so this one's much cooler definitely pick these up they're quite cheap I think it's like five dollars for a three pack or something these black ones goodbye another goodbye is this Fisher Space Pen it's the bullet version uh, I have the bullet version, and I also have this AG7 uh, astronaut version. This is the version they took the space. As you can see, it's like one piece, and so that would be more attractive to somebody actually in space. Whereas this one is neat because it's so compact and it's good for, you know, EDC or what have you. Standard clip. I think they had complaints about this clip slipping off, and so... Nowadays, the clip fits on real nice. I used to have a silver one of these for like five years, but I lost it in my second week of college freshman year. So that was a bummer. There's a ton of threads. And one thing I really like doing is taking this apart. Since it's the same threading, but in the opposite like direction. Like, you know, the back end of the pen has the male threads. Whereas this one, um, the back end of the thread has female threads. So... No, I like doing this sometimes. Just flipping this around, putting this here, and then you got yourself a nice Fisher desk pen. Yes, okay. And of course, if you put the <laughs> back end on here, it makes for a bit of visual humor for a small, unusable yeah, thing, I guess. You can use it to poke people, maybe. So let's put this stuff back together the way it should be. This belongs to this pen. Yeah. I have a lot of fun with friends. Believe me. Okay. So let's put back together. Fisher Space Pen. And of course, you can't miss your Sharpie. This one's actually an old worn out Sharpie that I use for marking boxes and stuff, but it's useful when I'm doing projects in the shop or something. Need something to mark up a uh, piece of wood or something and you got nothing. You know, those wimpy pencils don't work, so I do use this or I use this. Really should carry on the carpenter's pencil, but that is really unusable in the office or the classroom. Alright, let's look at the other pockets in my pencil case. So, top one, I've got the Pilot Metropolitan, standard 
fountain pen. It's cheap. It's great. I love it. The Lamy All-Star in coffee brown or toffee brown, I can't remember which. 2010 limited edition filled with Namiki Blue. Or, I guess, almost out of Namiki Blue. Oh no, no, there's quite a bit of ink in there still. Yeah, that's a problem with these. The logo doesn't go on front side sometimes. Okay, there we go. I have the Pilot S20 mechanical pencil. This is a beautiful cherry red wood. I don't think this video will do it justice. It's got nice texture. This is actual wood, by the way. It's finished, so it's not super, like, rough. Kind of like, it's not sanded only. It's also finished, so it won't provide the same kind of grip as this General Cedar Point, but either way, it's the most refined mechanical pencil I have. It, it's just, I mean, look at it. It looks so great. The clip design, the body, sort of the taper. I love this pencil. Definitely a great buy, even for the $33 list price. I got it on sale on Amazon for, I think, $21. That is a steal for what this is. Made in Japan, of course. And, of course, I got my Lamy logo. This one I had with a turquoise ink cartridge. Yep. And I got it in Germany in 2011. I got this pen in 2010 in Germany. I got this one in 2011. Nice spring-loaded clip design. Very, very uh, utilitarian sort of look. Tactical. No, not really tactical. Just refined, classy, elegant, timeless. Lamy design, man. Can't go wrong. And I've also got some spare lead in there, but that's just pencil super high polymer lead. Nothing special. Here... I've got this rubber foot that came off my calculator. I actually, my calculator's at school, but the rubber feet, I, it's a TI-89 titanium, by the way. The rubber feet kept on coming off, and anybody who's familiar with these calculators knows that those rubber feet really do have an affinity for just jumping off the calculator. So, what I did was, I was sick of that, I ripped off the one that was still there, I went to Radio Shack a few years ago and got these, like, giant cassette deck rubber feet, and one of them hasn't come off till now about five years, six years later, so quite durable glue on these things, at least until this one came off. And I also got some spare batteries for the said calculator, the Alvin Brass Bullet Sharpener, which I also got in Germany in 2010, and a small Swiss Army knife for emergency sharpening. Uh, also got a file here for shaping the point, got a little screwdriver, and a tiny little pair of scissors. This knife, in comparison with its big brother, I got this one at Radio Shack, actually, for like $2 or $3 or something. But, yeah. The tweezers and the toothpick are the same size, but the like knife blade, for example, this one, see how thick that knife blade is? Let's hold that there for a second. See comparison there. This one's tiny. But, it's nice and portable, and you never know when you're going to need to cut something. So... Definitely also a good buy. I think they're on Amazon for like 10 bucks or something. And that about sums it up. So I hope you enjoyed this pencil case roundup for winter 2014. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Till then.